A Monday afternoon, Hudson County TV went to the Secaucus Municipal Building to see the unveiling of the new American Medicine Chest Challenge drop box. The box is available for all local residents to drop off their prescription drugs so that they cannot be used or abused by loved ones. A number of officials arrived at the scene, including Assembly Speaker Vincent Prieto, Mayor Michael Ganelli, and Freeholder Albert Zafelli. We listened to them all talk about this intriguing cause, which should be a great help for the community. Each day in New Jersey, we lose two family members uh, throughout the state of New Jersey to opiate abuse. Uh, and it's an issue that we've seen grow to epidemic levels in the state of New Jersey. And one of the ways in which we're going to be able to reverse these trends is through education. Uh, we at the American Medicine Chest Challenge in a partnership for New Jersey have created a challenge for everyone. It's five steps to help protect your home and your families. And one of those steps is to make sure you dispose of your medicine properly. This morning I was shocked because from time to time I get, I see people dropping stuff off. <laughs> but um, this morning the, the police department were actually opening the box and I was shocked to see that the box was just about filled to the brim. We had 38 pounds of prescription medicine in that box this morning, which is a tribute to you guys that your outreach has gotten where it needs to be and that people are using it. Nowadays we see athletes, talk show hosts, um, cuts across all the lines of, of the Stratton Park communities. Um, my own family I've seen. It's a destroyer of families. Uh, it's a destroyer of relationships. Um, something like this is a great starting point. Um, the opiate catastrophe in this country is, is an epidemic. Assembly Speaker Vincent Prieto echoed his fellow elected official sentiment on the matter. I'm uh, very supportive of their endeavors here, and this uh, box has been here now for a few months, and as you heard, uh, 38 pounds were uh, taken off today. I think it's very important for people to have somewhere as a drop-off site. The biggest component is education. We need to educate people to know that they have somewhere, how to dispose of them safely, to make sure that um, they bring them to a place like this or make other arrangements, because the problem is that, uh, people dump them into uh, their uh, toilets and to our waterways and that actually puts a lar larger stress because if you have a um, uh, a uh, system to clean the water the uh, local sewer authorities that becomes even more difficult for them so it's actually a higher cost to neutralize that water and all these effects so we're we also had a chance to catch up with Thomas Allen the executive director and co-founder of the Summit Behavioral Health Clinic Allen explained why he had a vested interest in educating the public about the dangers of prescription drug abuse. The idea may seem foreign to some people. I get a prescription filled and why don't I just throw it out when I'm done using it? Well, oftentimes, more often than not, these prescriptions are filled, uh, partially taken and left in the medicine cabinet. Um, we're seeing is the young adult population, uh, way, where they are accessing uh, their first exposure to, to drugs is through their parents' medicine chest. So the idea of uh, uh, taking it out of the source, so to speak, and, and having having a, a uh, education that, uh, that's disseminated regarding uh, medication disposals is key in, in I think, curbing the epidemic of uh, prescription drug abuse. But I understand um, your personal experience has led to your involvement in this cause, correct? Yeah, that's that's the other piece. I, I can speak firsthand. My uh, I'm, I'm in recovery from uh, opiate prescription uh, uh, opiate prescription drug abuse. Uh, it injured my neck in school. Uh, as a result of that injury, was prescribed uh, opiate pain medication, and over a period of time became uh, addicted to it. Uh, there is help out there, and that treatment does work. Uh, for me, it took a number of years uh, through treatment therapy and 12-step recovery, uh, but there is, there is help out there. I'm John Hytus, Potsdam County TV, Secaucus.